Hello everyone. So today I'll be covering question number 10 of gate 2013. The pin jointed 2D truss is loaded with a horizontal force of 15 kN at joint S and another 15 kN vertical force at joint U. Find the force in member RS in kN and report your answer taking tension as positive and compression as negative. So it's a one mark question. And for this type of questions, you can refer to a lecture series on structural analysis 1 by Professor Amit Shaw, Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Kharagpur. Let's proceed with the solution of this problem. So let's first of all find out the reactions here. So since it's a uh, determinate truss, so we can either use the method of joints or method of sections to find the forces in different members. So let's call the reaction here at W vertical. There will be only vertical reaction here because there is no other member in horizontal direction to take up the force. At joint support T, there will be reaction here which I can call it T vertical and here it is T horizontal. So to find out the reactions, let us take use the equilibrium equation that is summation of moment about point t as 0. So when we will take the moment uh, there is 115 kN load here so it will be let's take a clockwise moment as positive so here it will be minus 15 multiplied by distance is 4 here. Another force is this Wv it is in clockwise direction so Wv multiplied by 8 there is another force 15 kilonewton and it is again in clockwise direction so plus 15 multiplied by this distance which is 4 equal to 0 from here we get the value of W vertical as 0 Now the next step is to find the value of TH and TV. For that let us use this equilibrium condition that is summation of force in vertical direction 0. So using that uh, what are all the forces which are in vertical direction? There is this WV which is 0. Other than that there is 15 kN so let us call it minus 15 because it is in downward direction. Another force is this TV, so let's call it plus TV. WV is uh, already 0 equal to 0. From here we get the value of TV as 15 kN. So now we have the value of TV and WV. The only thing which is unknown here is TH. So e we can find out TH also very easily. So for that let us use this equilibrium condition summation of force in horizontal direction to be 0. So what are all the forces in horizontal direction? There is this TH and there is this 15 kN. So TH minus 15 equal to 0. From here we get the value of TH as 15 kN. Now we know all the reactions. We know the value of Wv which is 0. We know the value of Tv which is 15 kN and Th is also 15 kN. So let us mark all the forces here. This is 0, this is 15 and this is 15. Now I will use here the method of sections to find the force in member Rs. So I will cut the member this section like this. So after cutting the sections we have to we can make the free body diagram of that part. So let us really make the rele released forces. This is F R S. This another member F U S. This member is like this. This is F ut okay this is the section which we need to analyze and let us mark the forces also here it is 15 kilonewton at this joint which is s 
there is this T joint we have two forces here which is 15 like this and 15 in upward direction so we have drawn this free body diagram of this particular section now we can easily find out the value of FRS here before finding FRS we will also need this value of FUS so let us find out FUS first for that let us use this condition summation of force in vertical direction to be zero for this particular section so here the only there are only two vertical forces which is 15 upward and this is FUS so from here we get the value of FUS as 15 kN because this 15 kN will balance the upward 15 kN now we get FUS also the only thing here unknown is FRS which we need to find out to find out the value of FRS let us take the moment about this point T let's see what are all the forces here we have this FUS the distance between the line of action of FUS and this point T is 4 meter we have this FRS force and the line of action of FRS force is 4 meter away from this T point and we have another force which is this 15 kN and which is also 4 meter away from this point T. So if we write the equations here we get minus FUS multiplied by 4 plus minus FRS multiplied by 4 plus 15 multiplied by 4 equal to 0. From F, uh, FUS is was also 15 kN what we from what we fi found out earlier so minus 15 into 4 minus 4 FRS and plus 15 multiplied by 4 equal to 0 these two things cancelled out and from here we get the value of FRS as 0 so this is our final answer the force in member RS is 0.